Good evening everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we ha I have uh, a game to show you. I've just played it, uh, I think four days ago. It was online, uh, but the game features a very nice uh, French battle between uh, a guy, his name is Exus. His rating is 2283, I am 2215. Uh, and my uh, uh, name on latest is Chess uh, for San. The same name of the channel, also on chess.com, same thing. Anyway, uh, the Mr. X has to start with e4. I bet e6, d4, d5. Knight c3 should be 4. Uh, we know a variation, e5, and here I played knight e7. And I prefer this move over c5 because after a3, bishop c3, b c3, and you're gonna play now knight e7. But white has too many options queen g4, knight f3, a4. A4, A5, and then, H, and then he has also H4, etc. But when you go knight E7 first, uh, and uh, White want to go for A3, and you get you can exchange, of course. You don't have to play C5 and open the position. You can just simply play B6. And the idea is, if, if White goes for Queen G4, you go for Knight G6, and if H4, H5, a Queen G3, in this particular position. Black can just go this bishop a6, exchanging the the bell bishops here, get rid of his bad bishop on c8, and at the same time leave white with those double pawns, and that's not healthy. But so my opponent did something different. It's a blitz game, so I just can't actually blame him for what he did. Actually, and he did really a good job anyway. Queen g4 attacking the pawn on g7. I played at a five to protect the pawn. He played not as a f3. I went for b6. Again, that's my idea. I want to go here. Simple life. Nothing, nothing, nothing unusual. He played bishop d3. Now, if I go bishop a6, he will simply will take. And after I take, he can take either on a5 or in g7. And both are helpful for me. So I said, you know what? Let's just do something different. It's gonna be g6. And now of course if he take, I can just take with the e. And next move could be bishop b6. If I want to, but anyway, what he did is he actually played bishop d2, and now I played bishop a6. I'm insisting on this exchange. I want to exchange those bishops at under any cost. Uh, he played knight b5 and exchanged bishops. Of course, the king in the center here doesn't mean white is actually in danger. White could easily go for c3 and maybe a4, a5 later on. So the king is completely safe over here. Uh, and there's no way actually to attack him so far. Uh, and of course, White also didn't didn't really have to worry about double bonds on the C file as well. And anyway, I played I played the Queen D7, attacking the the Knight with two pieces, and I'm protecting with only one. A4, and now C6, and on C6, Knight C3 take. And of course, White could take here with the King, and I don't see anything wrong with this move, like whatsoever. He did this. He played C D3. Accepting a double bonds in exchanging for opening the c5. Of course, this is a blitz game, so there's too many guys uh, on uh, on the internet. They're looking for uh, an aggressive game. Because he wants to finish the game fast. Anyway, I played a5 to stop a4. He played h4. I played h5. Queen f4, and now knight a6. And now this knight is dangerous. He is going to be four, and putting a basha on the d3 on the bone on d3. Uh, so we have uh, some issues to handle uh, with g4 take and take and now rook h5 stopping the whole white attack on the king side rook ac1 knight b4 b3 queen b7 and of course black is looking now for queen a6 uh, and queen d3 a uh, white played knight e2 queen a6 knight f4 so he's protecting the bone attacking the rook at the same time Good job, rook h8, rook c3, now the rook is doing the job by protecting the pawn on d3. So this knight can go somewhere else. Castle queen side, I need to connect between the rooks under any cost. Rook hc1, king b7, rook h1, rook c8, and now h5. And white has to open the position, he cannot just accept a double bonds here to be under pressure all the time. He has to do something, so I take... I took, sorry, I took, rook cg8, attacking the queen on g4, 
He played the queen h3, take and take, and now rook g7, everything is under control, under protection. And this is what the French player is looking for. They, they, they just want everything to be defended. Queen h8. Now, if I play slowly, I'm not sure how the game gonna go. Like, I mean, I could just maybe do this, maybe. And that's asking, ask, uh, asking for exchange of the queens. And I'm not sure where the game gonna go from here. Like, I mean, and it's a blitz game. We got seconds for both. Uh, but, so it said, you know what, let's go for b5 and make it even more complicated. Maybe I'll get a checkmate somewhere. Uh, I took, I took, and then he played the queen e8. I played the queen b6. Just to stop, uh, if he plays, if he go here, I can go here. Uh, he played knight d5, sacrificing the knight. And I really don't understand this move at all. I'm not sure what's the idea behind it. But I took the challenge. I just took the knight, no problem. And he then he played rook c5. Check. King c2, knight of e7. And now the knight actually is protecting the bone on c6. Uh, queen d7, check. King b6. Of course, I don't want, uh, didn't really actually want to cover the check with the knight because I'm losing the other one. That's gonna be stupid. So I played king b6. Check. King b7. Rook c4. Queen a3. Queen d7, check. King b6 again. Knight d2. And now we have some threats. White is threatening for rook a4, followed by knight c4, check. Checking the king. So I have to do something very fast. In this position, I uh, found this nice combination. Also, I got eight seconds of my clock, guys. So I just give him a check. He went to d1. I gave him another check. King e2. I gave him a knight of four check. King e3. Knight e d5 check. King f3. And now queen h1 and checkmate. Right in the middle of the board. Uh, a very nice game with the French defense. I'm really proud of it. It's, it's really, really nice. If you guys like the game, like the channel, uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.